Hey dudes! Let's look at some Christian memes on Instagram. So we got a classic Ralph meme here. When you bring your friend to your Pentecostal church and they just sit there like, <laughs> I'm in danger. That's the best Ralph impression I can do. I'm in danger. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Terrible at impressions. But I love that Pentecostals themselves admit that their version of Christianity is pretty freaky or like scary to outsiders. So it's like, doesn't that, doesn't that say something to you? But, okay. Moving on. People in 2019 reading the Bible like, yeah, crassing out stuff, ignoring things, or cherry picking. And yeah, I totally agree with this. Why call yourself Christian if you're just gonna cherry pick? But I'm pretty sure the person posting this and people that make this sort of argument of like, you're cherry picking the Bible, like on the Christian side, like, they're probably not following a lot of the Bible as well. And yeah, why, why follow it if you're just gonna cherry pick? And it's pretty hard nowadays to actually follow what most of the Bible says. And yeah, most of the Bible is pretty awful if you actually pay attention to it. And don't just get the regurgitated nice little bits of the Bible from like your pastors or like Christian media. Another example of, I guess, sort of classic meme format at this point with a Kermit meme with the evil Kermit and good Kermit. Spiritual me. Cut out anything that doesn't lead you closer to Christ. Petty me. Biology homework doesn't lead you closer to Christ. So yeah, I feel like this meme is a good example of what I think is wrong with Christianity. How um, people can focus on their, their spirituality and not actually care about doing much with themselves. So when I first found this post, I was a little bit triggered, I guess, because it uses a picture from this documentary called Jesus Camp. Most atheists by now know this documentary. It's a really good documentary on the evangelical community during the George W. Bush era and they follow this uh, Jesus camp and kind of show the crazy side of kind of indoctrination in the evangelical community. Yeah, the screenshot is from a part when a girl starts crying and uh, she's freaking out from like her belief in Jesus. It's been a while since I've watched this documentary, but I remember I've always kind of come away from it feeling really sad, I guess, for, for the kids that have had to have that sort of childhood of having a religion pushed on them so hard. And to me, intense indoctrination of children is pretty much on par with child abuse. And in, in this case, I guess it it's the sort of emotional manipulation that religion can have on children and even adults. And this documentary is a great example of that emotional manipulation. And <laughs> I guess it was hard for me to watch like the little kids like crying from various things their their pastors were teaching them. And yeah, it's funny to me to see this documentary as seen as like a a good thing and seen as like Christians watching it and being like, wow, that's wonderful. Because yeah, there's this example of the screenshot used from it with when you're out with your church friends about to order the number three and a shake and the background you hear Oh, the overwhelming, never-ending... I guess it's... So, I don't know, I guess I'm probably not singing to it, right? So they, they see this... the screenshot from a documentary that's pretty disturbing to me and other people in, like, the atheist community. 
<laughs> I can see it as like a, a good thing. So, so these next couple memes, yeah, I think are very, very terrible use of the format because one, I love this YouTuber, Gus Johnson is super funny and adorable. I love the super cute Wisconsin accent and he's just super funny. And yeah, this is from his video talking about like, don't at someone about checking their DMs on Twitter. I forget the title of the, the video, but it was a super funny video and Yeah, terrible use of a screenshot from the video. So the first meme is saying Daddy God in prayer. And it says the Bible verse that it's from. And then the next meme is women teaching or exercising authority over men. So... Yeah, there's, there's a lovely use of Gus Johnson with that Bible verse. And then here's the third meme using Gus Johnson. Ignoring passages of scripture you don't like. So yeah, that's a very terrible use of his image, but also a great example of why Christianity is awful. So we have a lovely Rogue One meme here. I guess this is sort of an example of Christians having sort of a savior complex with themselves when it comes to teaching people the gospel or sharing the word of Jesus. Because, uh, yes. Me, congratulations, you are being rescued. Taking my non-Christian friend to church. And please do not resist. So it's really funny to me when Christians act like spreading the word of Jesus in, like, Western society is something that has to be done, that, like, people need to be brought to church, and, <laughs> and that by bringing them to church they're going to, to save them. Yeah, the majority of Western civilization has been Christian now, and it's not like telling someone about Jesus is going to really help them. It's not like a brand new idea. I guess you can convert people sometimes, but yeah, I, I just love this idea of Christians thinking they're like saving people. So this next meme is pretty funny to me because it's one of those things I've heard of people saying, but it's just like, really? People actually say that? Or like, I think of it as like a, I guess, old-fashioned thing to say, but yeah, I guess in, in 2019, people are still doing the you have to have space for Jesus while you're dancing thing. This lovely picture of you want to dance? Oh my god, yes! Okay, you two, leave space for me! With the, the capitalized me there. I have to capitalize for anything with Jesus. <sighs> but yeah, it's just... Love the picture. Love, love the awkward Jesus in the middle of these very plain looking white people. So it seems like Christians have had this weird thing with uh, Chick-fil-A ever since the whole controversy with, I guess it was like their CEO or something saying homophobic stuff and the company donating to right-wing causes and yeah, terrible company. But yeah, so because of that, now right-wingers, and especially Christians, love the chicken restaurant. And this is just one example. I saw a few others of talking about their love of Chick-fil-A. I don't really know if I say it right. Is it Chick-fil-A? Chick-fil-A? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, here's one example. Netflix and chill. Nah, let's chick fil and pray, winky face. Oh yeah, that sounds like a fun time. <laughs> it's just weird to think of people sitting around for the amount of time like you would like Netflix and chill, like binge watching on some shows, just like praying 
and eating like fried chicken and fries. At least like with Netflix you're being entertained and why can't you just like also watch Netflix and eat your terrible fast food? I I'm pretty sure there's some like Christian things on Netflix. There might be like a Kevin Sorbo movie on there I think. Next post. You relax on a plane even though you don't know the pilot. You relax on a ship even though you don't know the captain. You relax on a bus even though you don't know the driver. Why don't you relax in life knowing that God is in control? Well, for all of those things, like, I know there has to be a person, like, even on like a plane I've seen the pilot before, I know the pilot exists. There's good enough reason to believe in your God as there is to believe in multiple gods that were created before your god. Basically no evidence. Man created god. And yeah, terrible example because with all of those examples, I know that a person has to exist to, to do those things. There's, there's evidence for them. Unlike a, a god. Next meme. Here's another example of Christians acting like they need to teach people about Jesus. When you tell someone about Jesus and they start to get mad at you. A superhero is being sued for saving someone who apparently didn't want to be saved. And yeah, it's again the hero complex sort of thing, I guess, of, of Christianity. If it's so wonderful to be a Christian, you're gonna save people by making them Christian as well. And I want to know who these people are that get mad at people for, like, mentioning Jesus. I mean, I'm a pretty militant atheist, but when people talk about Jesus, I don't, like, get all, like, pissed off about it. I actually like to, like, engage with that person and ask them questions about Jesus. I actually like when someone talks to me about Jesus because it gives me an opportunity to ask them questions about their beliefs. It's interesting for me. If we're ever going to help people get away from religion, we have to understand why people believe in it. So yeah, I think it's silly for atheists to get like mad at people when they bring up Jesus. And also having the savior complex about teaching people about Jesus, like it's this like unknown knowledge within our society is hilarious because Christianity is like everywhere, especially in America. And I'm guessing this person is probably American. I don't know, I could be just assuming. Next meme. I hope that when they put Jesus into the tomb, at least one of them in their mind was like, carefully, he's a hero. I love the comment that this guy posted with the <laughs> wonderfully written meme. I really do. When Jesus died on the cross, he was killed by his own people. I hope that they realized after he rose that they just crucified their own messiah. What I've never understood about Christians being like, people should feel bad about Jesus suffering on the cross, is that wasn't he supposed to go through this ritual of dying so he could go to the afterlife and be resurrected again so he could like basically open it up for everyone else to like be absolved of their sins and they could also go to heaven just believe in Jesus and you'll go to heaven it's like without that key thing of being crucified the Jesus magic wouldn't work so it's like I, I never understand this like those people should have felt really bad you would have thought that when Jesus went back and people saw him resurrected, they would have been like, Oh cool, that that magic worked, and yeah, you are the Messiah, that's cool. In the story of Jesus, I think Jesus suffered a lot less than a lot of people have throughout history and at this present moment with the amount of diseases and horrible suffering there is in the world. It's funny to me how much Christians think about Jesus is suffering, but they barely think about how much actual suffering is going on in the world. But, 
yeah, they, they have this like obsession with thinking about how much their their god must have suffered for them in this thing that he created and set up. But he had to do the special Jesus magic of being killed and resurrected too. Christianity's weird. So I'm gonna preface this by saying this is a very wholesome meme, you guys. The person who posted it says it's a wholesome meme. Beyonce, I love my followers. Jesus, I loved my followers so much that I died for them. So yeah, again, Jesus was God in human form and was able to come back to life. And it was part of his like, magic thing he had to do to absolve people of their sins. And yeah, Beyonce is just a pop star. I don't know why she should be expected to die for her followers. I just want to go to the comments of this one. Just some wholesome Christian memes for you guys. Not only did Jesus die for us, but he rose three days later, essentially concerning death so that we could be with him for all concerning So that we could be with him for all eternity. Jesus loves you and have a great day, Faith. Smiley face. He ain't real, I'm fine with Beyonce. And yeah, great comment, loved it. She's not going to save you from hell, honey. Just repent and trust in Jesus with all your heart. Uh, I don't get why someone couldn't like, like Beyonce and be a Christian at the same time. Oh, okay. But yeah, also, Beyonce's real, and why does she have to save people from anything? Can't Beyonce just continue to make pop music that some people like? Not really me. Yeah, I just love the comment on the bottom. Would Beyonce die for you? I think not. <laughs> oh my god, all this Beyonce hate for her not dying for her fans. So this last meme is just peak, just wonderful meme. I just, oh my gosh, I love it. I might do a whole video on it, tempting. Um, the combination of Christianity and Sonic the Hedgehog. It's, it's a beautiful combo. I'm, oh, I love it. <laughs> so, ugh. Okay. <laughs> I'm so excited. So we have Sonic the Hedgehog in front of, of a pretty lady saying, What the heck you think you're doing there, buddy? Stop looking at her. Pornography is a sin. Go read the Bible instead. And... Yeah. Sonic says so, kids. <laughs> Oy. Beautiful. Love it. Like... Ugh. Part of me just hopes it's a joke, but don't think it is. Ah. So yeah, that was some Christian memes of Instagram, and I hope you liked that. And yeah. Later, dudes.